Excuse me. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review on the brand new Anastasia Beverly Hills and um, Reezy highlighter. I finally picked it up. I didn't purchase it in time when it first came out. Usually I try to get new releases right off the bat so that I can put the review up really quickly and you guys can see it and determine if you guys want to purchase it. But because this highlighter has been out for, I feel like almost a month, maybe not a month, a couple of weeks or so, but I felt like Maybe I didn't really need to do the review because there's already so many reviews of it up, but a lot of you guys have been requesting me to do it, so I decided to pick it up and to make this review super special. You know, I had to support the Tafal fam and everybody that supports me here on my channel, so I picked up Bam. two of the Elmer's Z highlighters, so I'm going to be doing a giveaway for this video. If you are not familiar with my channel, I do all of my highlighter reviews with no makeup on, so I have nothing on my face. The only thing that I have on is my eyebrows. I filled them in really quickly. Before we get into the review, I want to give a quick mention to my t-shirt. I'm obsessed with it. Girl power. Spice up your life. You guys know Spice Girls are everything to me. This is by an artist on Instagram. His Instagram name is Sam's Crayon and he is an illustrator and he draws all of these handmade in the UK and he has his merch line on Society6. So I will leave his Instagram and his merch website down below so you guys can check out all of the other illustrations that he does. He doesn't just draw the Spice Girls. He draws a lot of different pop artists and he's so talented. I'm obsessed and I absolutely love this shirt. It has all the Spice Girl doodles all around it. It's both sides and it's really cute. I am wearing a size small for reference in case you guys want to know what size I'm wearing and I'm obsessed. I mean Posh Spice, come on girl everything okay you guys so opening the highlighter this is what it looks like outside of the box i love the star packaging so i'm just going to read you the little backstory on the carton it says i live for the perfect glow it's a constant focus in my makeup routine i'm always looking for the most luminous glow with a natural second skin finish this collaboration with anastasia beverly hills bring my highlighter dreams to life and i'm so happy to share this sun in a compact with my reezy writers I'm obsessed and I cannot wait to use this highlighter. Looking at just the packaging, the overall finish of it, you guys can see like the waves. It's so cute. For reference, I am NC45. You guys probably think I look a little too pale for that. I am spray tanning. You guys know my spray tanning journey. I don't spray my hands. Gonna keep on saying that. Because I take my nail pictures and it's going to make my nails look really, really splotchy and the picture's really ugly, so we'll skip that. But ignore my tan line, but you guys can see how tan my body is, but my natural skin tone is NC45. So I don't think on Reezy is like that skin tone. I feel like she's way lighter than me. So I'm excited to see if it's going to look okay on just my natural skin tone. I'm going to be using the Morphe M510 brush and I'm so excited. So I'm going to start out by applying the on Reezy highlighter with the dry application. Oh, I don't even want to mess it up. It's so pretty. Should I put on a lot or a little bit? What do you guys think? I feel like I should. I always go really, really heavy with my highlighters because I want you guys to see what it looks like. So I know I got a couple of comments. They're like, why does he apply it like that? I apply it so heavily so you guys can actually see what the color looks like. If I apply it light, girl, you're not going to be able to see. You can do that at home. So that's why you watch my reviews so you can see what it looks like with a really intense application. Okay, so going on with just... Oh. Come on, pigment. Oh my god. Your boy's so happy that he picked this up. Definitely light, but it's not powdery. So I feel like most highlighters, or I wouldn't say most highlighters because that's just kind of shading everybody's highlighter. I love everybody's highlighter for the most part. But for the most part, highlighters just look like I have powder on top of my, my cheeks, which is not that big of a deal, but I feel like this one, oh my god. It literally doesn't look like I have powder on my cheeks. It's just like highlighter. I love it. Okay, so let me try it again on the other side, but I'm going to dampen the application, so I'm just going to pick it up again on my brush. I love the packaging. I love how it looks like waves. That is everything. That is so cute. Okay, then I'm going to dampen my application with some Fix Plus. And just wetting the application of any highlighter is just going to make it look, or it's supposed to look, way more intense. So let's try it out on the other cheek. Again, putting it on with the damp application, I feel like it's so skin-like that you don't really like see it, but you can see it. You know what I mean? Hold on, let me look in the monitor. Yeah, you can see it. It's just, it's so different because I feel like most highlighters, you put it on, then it's always like, there's your highlighter. <laughs> but this one is like really like natural looking. So I'm gonna go on one more time with the damp application because I feel like it's not as intense as I'm expecting it to be. Let me spray my cheek this time instead. I've watched a tutorial with um, 
MAC Daddy Angel Moreno and he sprays his cheek before he applies his highlighter instead of spraying the brush, which is an interesting way to do the makeup, but he said you kind of got to let your cheek um, dry down. This camera, what the hell? I have it on autofocus because if I have it on manual, I'm by myself. I don't have anybody else to sit there and like try to manually focus the camera. But when I'm going like this, it's like going out of ca focus. Come on, Canon, get your life. All right, so let me try it again. Yeah, it's still, even then, even applying it twice with the damp application, it just looks very natural. It doesn't look, I'm hoping it, it looks natural in person. But if you guys are looking on camera, you guys are probably like, that's not natural as hell. But it's very, very skin-like. I'm impressed, Amrezi. This is really, really pretty. Impressed, that makes it seem like I'm like judging her. Like, um, I'm not a makeup professional. <laughs> I really, really do like that it is very skin-like and it doesn't look like powder just sitting on top of my skin. So here it is with a dry and with a damp application. I love both of them. They both look very natural to me, in my opinion. And it's very, very flattering. I do like the shade on my skin tone. I feel like I could wear this one. I'll probably use this in a future tutorial so you guys can see what it looks like with the full face of makeup on. But I do love this shade so far. So I was going through my highlighters in my collection and I was trying to see if I have any highlighters that look similar to the Omrizi um, highlighters. So I have a few. Most of them are from Anastasia because I wanted to just keep it in the Anastasia brand range. So I have this one right here. This is the Illuminator in the shade so Hollywood and I believe this is one of Omrezi's favorite shades of the Illuminators. I don't wear this one that much because it is very light and it's almost too light on my skin tone. But this one looks very similar to the Omrezi highlighter. The So Hollywood is just a bit more gold. But I'm going to put on the So Hollywood on my cheeks so you guys can see for reference. So I'm going to leave the damp application of the Omrezi on and I'm going to apply the So Hollywood on this side. Okay, so I'm just picking up a Hakuhoto G5539 brush and I'm going to first apply the So Hollywood with a dry application. Okay, so here is So Hollywood. Hollywood just with the dry application so I feel like these shades are definitely similar the so Hollywood highlighter is definitely a bit more of a white color and the Omrezi um, one is a bit more of like a champagne skin like finish so here is what so Hollywood looks like compared to Omrezi um, another highlighter that I thought looked similar to the Omrezi um, one was from the sugar glow kit and this is the most recent glow kit from Anastasia and it's the shade called butterscotch which is a shade that was previously in the sweets glow kit I believe and she just put it in side of the new sugar glow kit so here they are side by side you can definitely see that the Omrezi one is a bit more brighter but I felt like it looked a little bit similar so grabbing a clean Hakuhoto G5540 highlighter brush I'm going to apply this also and I'm just going to apply this with a dry application okay so here is butterscotch just applied with a dry application again this formula is very very finely milled but I feel like Everything is like looking very like powdery when I'm looking at it compared to the Omrezi one. I'm obsessed with the skin like finish that the Omrezi one has. This butterscotch shade is a bit more yellow than the Omrezi one. The Omrezi one is a more champagne color and it's very similar but I feel like the Omrezi one is just a bit lighter than the butterscotch highlighter. So here is Anastasia's butterscotch compared to the Anastasia Omrezi. So another highlighter that I thought looked similar to the Omrezi was from the Sun Dip Glow Kit. And I believe this one is permanent and you can still purchase this glow kit. But it's the shade called Summer because it's the lightest one. And so this is what Summer looks like next to the Omrezi highlighter. But the Omrezi one looks a bit more champagne than the Summer shade from Anastasia. So I'm picking up a clean G5540 highlighter brush from Hakuhoto. And I'm going to apply Summer with a dry application as well. Okay, so here is the summer shade next to the Omri Z. I feel like the summer highlighter is just way too white on my skin tone. I don't even think I've ever worn this shade other than inside my review. But you guys can see that it does look like, I mean, you can see the difference between the Omri Z and the summer shade. It's just, there's no comparison. This one is not really that similar in my opinion. I do still feel like this is a very flattering highlighter. It's very pretty. If you can pull the shade off with your skin tone, then it's going to look gorgeous on you, but it's not flattering on my skin tone. It's way too light, and it just doesn't look that similar to the Omri one. 
So here's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Summer Highlighter compared to the Anastasia Amrezi. So I hope that my comparisons between the Amrezi and a few of the other highlighters in my collection helped you guys see what Amrezi looks like. It's a beautiful highlighter. I absolutely love the new finish of it. It definitely is very skin-like and I absolutely am obsessed with that. Here is a couple of swatches on my arms of some of the other shades that I didn't put on my cheeks, but I feel like the Amrezi one definitely stands out on its own compared to the other highlighters that I have in my collection. I'm still in love with the other highlighters that I use for comparison in this review but I definitely feel like the Omrezi highlighter is a standalone product and it's absolutely beautiful. And like I mentioned I am doing a giveaway for this highlighter. I picked up another one. One of my followers is going to win the brand new Omrezi highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills. All you guys have to do to enter the giveaway is of course subscribe to my channel and join the Tavao fam. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think about the highlighter, what you think about it compared to some of the other ones that I have swatched in this video and also if you have a highlighter that you think looks similar to this and I didn't talk about it in this video definitely go ahead and leave that down below I love conversating with you guys you guys know I always try to reply back to everybody's comment and you guys can also enter the giveaway on my Instagram so head on over there give me a follow I will have a picture posted about this giveaway and you guys can like the photo and tag three people in the comments of the photo thank you guys again so much for watching this video I hope you guys all enjoyed it make sure you guys again subscribe on your way out and join the Tavao fam and I'll see you guys all in the next one bye Excuse me.